if you want to be a better photographer as fast as possible, perspective is going to be the way to do it. Let me show you what I mean. I have a feeling I'm going to get in trouble after this. Behold, a 40-year-old motorcycle. This thing's older than I am. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the POV Photography Series. Today we're talking about perspective and we're going to do a photography drill that really helps drive this home. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to take an object, I chose my motorcycle, and we're going to shoot with one lens on one camera 30 different photos of this one object from different perspectives. First photo, nice and easy, boom, just go ahead and center it. For this next photo we're going to get down a little bit lower. The biggest thing with photography is if everybody's image looks the same, then obviously, you know, like yours is going to blend in. And that's what happens to a lot of people, especially on social media. They get to the point where when you post a photo, yours isn't special, it looks like everybody else. And what happens is these people go to beautiful spaces like this and they all go to the same location and take the same picture. No wonder why you're not getting the likes. And it's a recognition that you're craving as a photographer. What can you do to change the way? Because obviously if I'm looking at this motorcycle, I see this motorcycle with my own two eyes. But what I might not pay attention to, the logo here. So being able to get these close details or being able to shoot it from, I'm looking down at it. If I get down low, take a picture like that, that's a, that's a perspective you don't usually see on a motorcycle. If we go ahead and get back here, things like that. Just shooting from the other side already has a whole new element and dynamic to this motorcycle. Changing where you are in relation to the bike. If we were just getting this front piece here and we didn't care about anything else, that gives you a different perspective than all the other photos that we took. And again, you get all these pieces and you get all these parts of this motorcycle and you start to tell the story that is this motorcycle that is 40 years old. That's nuts to me. How can I really do this justice? How can I capture this so that if I show my kids a photo of this motorcycle, I think it's a cool photo there. Maybe even coming out. That's a creative photo that I didn't expect to get or plan to get. What about right here? I'll be honest, I'm not trying to do a lot of talking this episode. I kind of said what I needed to say. So now it's just time to shoot. And since I did this little half donut, I want to come back here and I want to go ahead and I would like to get that with the motorcycle. I think that looks awesome. We're going to come out of the camera range here. We're going to walk through kind of the uh, behind the tree here. And I'm going to try to take it through the leaves here. See how that looks. And that has a whole new dynamic to it. You know, now it's like almost like a jungle scene. Let's use like, let's come down low and use this tree here and the ground to kind of frame this. Really get that rugged look for it. Really focus on that. What else can we play with here? I think I want to try to get close to this tire. Same kind of thing. You know, it'd be kind of cool. I can't even really see up in, on it. I res that, that's a perspective of a dirt bike you don't usually see. Let's get that engine. Ooh, the keys here. Come on. I gotta get back. And this is a challenge you face. I can't pull, okay, there we go. If we can keep that focus. Uh, it's not working the way I want to, but that's what you run into. It's part of it. Is that 10 minutes already? That flew by, boom. There we go. And just like that, 
that's another POV photography episode. One thing to remember about photography is part of what makes it special is the fact that you're conveying a message, you're conveying an emotion, but also you're showcasing how you see the world. You're showing it from your perspective. You know, do you feel like the world is big and, and huge and, and is, is chaotic? You know, are you shooting things like low or, or do you feel like you kind of dominate the world around you and you're shooting high, you know? And, and, and I mean, I don't want to go on and talk about this forever, but my whole point is, how do you see the world? Because if, if you can start capturing that, your photos are going to make a much bigger impact.